So this woman was crying on this on this podcast because she felt the way. He didn't come out and tell her, "Oh, you're just fat and you can't get a man because you're fat." He basic he's basically telling her that men have standards. And this is what a lot of women hate to see. This is why I say it's over for a lot of these modern women because they hate to acknowledge the truth. So part of the truth is this. She's allegedly because from what she said on that podcast is, you know, somehow she's not finding the right kind of dudes or she's not finding a guy that is compatible with her or somebody that wants her or whatever. And he's basically saying part of that reason could be because of your weight. And she took she took offense to it. You know why? Because that is part of her insecurities. That is what she deep down inside knows about herself. She know that her weight could be an issue when it comes to dating. But instead of her acknowledging that and doing something about it, she would rather cry because it's a reality that she's not ready to face. This is why I say the entitlements are real. They believe that they're the best thing that's ever happened to a man because they have a vagina. And so they think that they don't have to make any improvements. That's what it's all about, making improvements to get the things that you say you want in life. They understand it when it comes to jobs and careers and education, but they don't understand it when it comes to relationships. And it's no different um, when it comes to relationships. You have to give a man the things that, you know, give him what he wants in order for you to get what you want. Bottom line, they feel entitled to to have their standards and, and talk about what they want from men. But a man, you get upset when a man has a preference and he says what he wants and what his standards are because you don't fit into that, his standards. Oh, and they get upset and start crying. Well, look, nobody don't care about your feelings at this point. You don't care about his feelings. She just, like he said, you call that man short and there was nothing to it. You don't think that, you know, that's something that he cannot control. You call him short as if that's a problem and he, and you know, well now, you know, they got, you know, they have these surgeries now. If you want to get taller, you can, but who wants to go through all of that? But I mean, you know, it, it, he would have to pay a lot of money, thousands and thousands of dollars to, and, and, and painful surgeries to, to make himself taller to fit the standards for these women, but these women won't do anything to try to fit the standards for me. How is that fair? And we talk about equality, baby. You know, you don't want equality, they want control. They want to be able to control a man, control the narrative, do whatever it is they want to do, and you're just supposed to be, sit there and, and take it. No, 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 that's not how that goes. She's sitting here crying because she's allegedly, or she looks a little bit overweight. Not an ugly woman at all. I think she's single. She's saying that wasn't an issue in her past relationships. Why don't you have a man? See, this is, this is what I'm saying. And they hate to accept just the possibility that something about them may not be right or something about them they may have to change. It, it hurts them to think that, oh, well, damn, I gotta make some changes? I thought I was perfect. No, <laughs> you're not, none of us are perfect. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the moment, Women start to realize that and accept that and, and, and realize that, hey, you, you can't go into a relationship thinking that you're perfect. And that's the thing. All of the problems are always the man's fault. He he don't do this. He need to do this. He need to do this. He need to do, he need to, he, 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 he need to do every damn thing. And you don't need to do nothing. That day is over. That's never going to, even if you found the man that you say you wanted, right? If you go into it with that mentality that you're perfect and he's he's got to continuously, you know, jump over mountains and, and, and hills and all of these things for you and you could just sit back and be the queen that you are because you have a vagina, I guarantee you that relationship is going to fail because that man is going to run out of, he's going to, he's going to get tired. He's going to get tired of, of bending over backwards for you when he's, it's not being reciprocated, when you're not doing anything to show him any of that back. He wants love and, and all of these, all of this stuff too. If you can't give him the things that he wants, he's going to get tired of trying to continuously give you everything that you want. And you're not giving him any of what he wants. That's going to get old. And then he's going to get tired. And that relationship is not going to work because it's a one-sided deal. So in order for you to not just get the man that you want, you have to know what's necessary and what's what's needed to maintain and sustain and sustain that that relationship. So this is why I say this and I preach this a lot because I think a lot of women need to realize this. And I wish women would open their, their minds and their ears and understand that what I'm saying and what a lot of people are saying is the truth. It's not bashing. It's just making you aware of this because a lot of women have been told 
y'all, you're the prize and you're so great. And a man should be lucky to have you. Would you, if you are a good woman and, and you have the qualities that men want, yeah, a man would be lucky to have you, but you would also be lucky to have him as well. Not a one-sided thing. If he's a good man and he meets all the requirements that you're looking for and you meet all the requirements that he's looking for, to me, y'all both are a catch. He finds you. You, you have the things that he wants. You, he has what you want. Y'all make it work. It's still, it still doesn't mean that even if you find that what you find what you want, that there's no work involved. I say this all the time. Marriage is work. Relationships are work. You can't go into it thinking that, oh, I could just sit back and relax and oh, whatever, whatever. And then you find yourself single again. No, you have to work on the relationship because you're bowing to one another that we're going to work through this through thick and thin. I love you enough. And we love each other enough that we're going to work through it, even though it's hard, you know, even time, even you might get on my nerves sometimes, but the bigger picture shows that, and, and what we vow to each other is that we're going to work through it. We're going to work it out. We're going to get through it. It's not always going to, you know, you have good times and bad. I say that all the time. That's what relationships are about. And when you understand that you, you don't go into it with this idea that, oh, I'm perfect and he better do everything that I want. And if he don't, I'm going to move on to the next. And you, that's why you're constantly moving from the next to the next to the next. You're never going to be able to find what you're looking for because it doesn't exist. If you want healthy relationships, you got to understand that it's not about money. It's not about always being right. It's not about your feelings all the time. You know, and I, and I understand I'm a woman and I have my feelings. I get in my feelings too. You know, just because you feel a certain way don't mean that that's actually what it is. You can feel, think, and all these things, but you have to realize your feelings aren't always, doesn't always always equate to, to, to actuality or the truth. It's just how you feel at that moment. And our feelings change all day. It's just the truth. And women don't like to hear that because they're like, what, what, what you mean? My feelings aren't valid. I mean, no, they're not. They're not always valid because your feelings aren't based in truth. It's just your feeling. And if your feelings change all day, then how is somebody supposed to be able to work with that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a lot of things I think women need to work on. Me and my husband talk about this all the time. You know, my feelings or or people, women's feelings and what you think and you think and feel different things all day it doesn't mean that is the truth. This is why I say as women, and I, and I really wish that women would get this. It would better your situations. Uh, uh, it will make it your, your situation and what you're looking for a lot better. It will give you better options and more, and, and more opportunities to, to get what it is that you want. And the reason why women aren't getting what they want, because they hate to listen. They hate to take accountability. You hate to hear the truth about yourself. You want to continuously be in this delusional state thinking that you're right. And it's not benefiting you. This is why I say it's over. Cause a lot of women don't want to accept the facts. And a lot of men are frankly getting tired of it. A lot of men are saying the hell with this. I'm moving on. I'm getting my life together. I'm, I'm, I'm living my best life. I'm not even gonna worry about it. If I get some fun out of these women, I'll get some fun, but I'm not committing to this because I can't trust it. And that's the downfall and why I say it's over for a lot of these modern women. And some of these women are even teaching this to their daughters and it's just a, a cycle that's going to repeat itself. And you know, it's just interesting to, to see how this is all going and how this is going to play out and where it's going to end up.